Welcome to this module of Professor Messer's free CompTIA A plus certification training course on installing Windows Vista. This is from our CompTIA requirements 220-701 section 3.3, where we need to explain the process and steps to install and configure the Windows operating system. As you're probably aware, your CompTIA requirements, the operating systems for Windows includes Windows 2000, Windows XP, and Windows Vista. And so in this particular module, we're going to focus on Windows Vista. Now the install process for Windows Vista is relatively straightforward, as long as you do a lot of steps before you begin the actual installation. This is really the most important part, is the pre-install. The installation process, as you recall from one of our previous videos, we talked about backing up your system, checking the minimum requirements, checking your hardware compatibility with the upgrade advisor. There's one of those for Windows Vista. Plan this file system file type and select an installation method. If you need any re references back to these, look at our previous module on planning your Windows installation. We step through what each one of these things are to make sure that we have all of these things in place. This becomes really important when installing an operating system. You don't want to be halfway through the install and have a message pop up saying, what file system do you want to make this? Or what is the configuration? Or this is going to possibly delete files. Do you have a backup? As long as you go through this installation process, you know that you've got the bases covered. You've got everything you need. You've got a full backup. If anything ever happens during the install, you're completely covered. So this installation, this pre-installation process becomes pretty important. And, and you want to look at your configuration requirements. These are the requirements from our Windows Vista. We need at least an 800 megahertz machine, ideally a 1 gigahertz. We need at least 512 mega RAM, but if you're running Vista Home Premium, Business, or Ultimate, you will want 1 gig as your recommended requirement. You only need 20 gig, but ideally you would have at least 40 gigabytes available of free disk space. CD-ROM or DVD-ROM certainly works better. That's the recommended is the DVD-ROM. At a minimum, you'll need VGA graphics. But the better graphics for Vista, the better off you're going to be. And if you have 128 meg of graphics RAM inside of your video card, you'll be in a much better position to install Windows Vista. The Vista installation, relatively straightforward. Let's start a Windows Vista install, and we'll see exactly how this works. Here's my Windows Vista configuration in Sun VirtualBox. I'm configured, configuring this mostly with the bare minimum. So we have a bare minimum of 512 megabytes of RAM. I've got a 32 meg video display. But of course, we could be running just with simple VGA if we wanted to. I have a 20 gig hard drive, again, the minimum to run Windows Vista on. This one I've just built from scratch. There's no operating system on there currently. It's not formatted. And I have my Windows Vista uh, DVD that I created an image from using ImageBurn. I just created that and put it on my hard drive. It'll be a little bit faster for me to access rather than going from the original media. But if you do that, don't forget about your original media. It will come in handy if you ever need to recover the operating system or do something else with it. Let's go ahead and start up Vista and see what we get. The Sun Virtual Box will start up. Let me slide the window over from my other screen over here. Here's the Virtual Box running. It's going to begin loading files. And as Windows starts up, the first screen we're going to get is going to ask us how we would like to install this. We're going to step through the installation. And you're going to find the installation of Windows Vista is relatively straightforward. Here's our first screen on the Windows Vista. Uh, ask for the language. My language is English. We'll, ch we'll click that one. And it says, uh, the language to install would be English, the time and currency format English, and the keyboard or input method US. That sounds right with me. So let's continue. We'll click Next. We can install Windows Vista now. But notice there are another couple of options here. What to know before installing Windows. And it will give you a breakdown of the things you would need to do if you are installing or if you are upgrading. Also, there is a repair your computer option. We aren't going to pursue that one in this particular module. Uh, in other modules, we will talk about recovering the operating system. And that repair option becomes very useful. Another good reason to always have your install media handy. Let's click the Install button. The first option we get is install Windows, read the license terms. And so you'll want to make sure you go through this uh, end user license agreement and make sure that everything in here is to your liking. 
Once you read that, you need to click the I accept the license terms options and click Next. It says, what kind of installation do we want? Notice the upgrade is here, but it's grayed out. I don't have anything on the system currently. We would need to start the operating system on our machine, slide our DVD in, and begin the installation process from there to be able to do an upgrade. In our case, it's going to be a custom, which is a clean copy of Windows. And we're going to have the options available to us. So I'm going to choose Custom Advanced. It says, where would you like to install Windows? I only have one disk that is in this virtual machine. This is this 20 gig disk that I've created. I'm going to click Next. And we begin the installation process. This is going to copy a number of files down, begin uh, really creating the basic configuration and installation area for Windows Vista. And as it says, this is everything you're going to need. Your computer will restart several times during the installation. Now, if you recall, if you go back and you look at, or you, you go forward and you look at the installation programs for Windows XP and Windows 2000, you notice there are a lot of questions that have to be asked. And when the version of Vista came along and Microsoft wanted to create a more easy to install version of their operating system, they wanted to make it so that you collect information at the beginning and then the rest of it, you could even walk away and have it finish up what it's doing. So that's what we're seeing here. What I'll do is have this continue to do the installation, reboot whenever it needs to reboot. I'll keep the screen on, and we'll watch these things go by. I'll speed this up, though, so you can kind of see the process as it's going through. But at this point, it's kind of a boring install. You just let it run, and at the end, we'll get some other options upon first booting up Windows Vista that will give us some other things to do. That was a relatively easy process. Windows went through the process of copying files down, installing them on the hard drive. And now we're at the very beginning of the actual setup process where we can provide some input. So let's type a username for our account. We'll call this Professor. And we'll put in a password of a couple things and retype that. And if you'd like, you can put in a password hint as well. If you happen to forget your password, it puts a little hint on the screen. So you want to be sure this isn't something that you would really be able to decrypt if you were somebody else. So a hint is probably too much of a guess. I'm going to change my picture. We'll change me to be a robot in this picture. There we go. That looks good. And we'll click the, oh, we do require a hint. So let's put a little hint in. Password hint goes here. So you can put your own hint in for whatever you'd like. Now we can click Next. And it says, what uh, computer name would you like to call this? Uh, we're going to leave the default here. It takes your name, and it puts dash PC on the end of it. And then we can choose any type of background we would like. I like this one right here. That looks pretty good. And we'll click Next. Help protect Windows automatically. This is a pretty important option because you want to be sure that your operating system is able to get all of the updates that are appropriate. And these days, there are a lot of security updates coming out. So we can either choose the recommended settings, which includes not just solutions for uh, solving security issues, but also for updating applications, or just the security issues. In my case, I like the recommended settings. Now the time zone. I am in the Eastern time zone. so. I'm going to choose Eastern Time in US and Canada. Automatically adjust the clock. There's the date and the time. That all looks good. We'll click Next. And thank you. Well, you're very welcome. Let's click Start. And that's it. You've installed Windows Vista. This is probably one of the easiest operating systems that you'll ever need to do up to this point. Windows 7 has a similar install, but that's not part of the CompTIA A plus requirements, at least not yet. Windows XP and Windows 2000 have a few other options associated with it that you have to be up and running with before the operating system can really get going. But for Vista, it's pretty simple. You ask those few things, and we're really done with the operating system. We go through this uh, performance check at the very beginning, and then we're going to actually begin the operating system. Thank you.